Hello, toy friends. Welcome back. I'm Will. This is the 118. But it wouldn't be the 118 without you guys and this dude right here. Hey, Jim, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Will? Oh, just great. Uh, you know, sorry I couldn't be here last week. I missed you guys. Uh, it was uh, stuff happens. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just glad to be back. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, we got a lot of people in the chat. Uh, maybe we should say hi. Oh, Indeed. it looks like Gojitron um, left us there. Little, dear John, uh, or dear Will and Jim. Sorry, he can't make it. I hope he's having a great weekend, whatever he's doing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, sorry, he couldn't be here, Goji. Ted, Ted's how's here it today. Going, buddy? And our Bill, buddy Bill. What's up, man? Ian, Ian Sweeney. Sweeney. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? James Salzberg. Hey. Good afternoon from PA. Very cool. Hey, all the Hicks. Yeah. And yeah. I'll let you handle that one. No, it's fat uh, red foo. Fat, fat red foo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a going fat. <laughs> it's a good handle. Yeah. Big in that. Oh, Boba says he's he's only here for the leagues. He, he oh, wants, okay. He wants to know what the, the scoop is. We'll save that till the very end. Beta Ray there Bob, welcome back from Japan. Beta Ray Bob, nice, a, uh, wonderful trip to Japan. I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing the pictures and everything you shared along the way. You'll have to come on and talk about it some someday soon. Yeah, very cool. Our buddy, the Epic Badger, hanging out, and TJC is here. TJC, how are you? And it wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be the same without Bjorn and uh, Smeb Smebulok. Smebulok. Yeah, and uh, he got to meet uh, the Sarge Sergeant Slaughter over the weekend. I think he went to a nice. toy show. Yeah. So again, two times in one year, you guys are becoming best friends. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, you're getting some uh, some Mario love for that shirt too. Oh yeah, it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity War Torn in the house. I believe that's got us caught up, sir. Oh, that's great. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah, lots of stuff. Some of the stuff was from last week, so we bumped it into this one. So, uh, you know, grab some chips and uh, get some water, hydrate, because it's gonna. It's not going to be a super long show. But, you know, we'll try and get through this stuff. But there is a little bit of extra news this week. Uh, but let's begin. What do we got going on? Well... Here's the rundown, and uh, this rundown was written several days ago and doesn't include everything that's on the show, So, because I messed up and I forgot to go back and update it. <laughs> so uh, we got the 118 Sunday, 11, 12, 23. Uh, we've got the announcement, or unofficial announcement, of the Star Wars Epic Hero Series for inch figures. Uh, we're going to go through and do some O-Ring updates, some of our favorite O-Ring Renaissance um, companies and, and creations. Uh, we've got a custom creator spotlight. You guys are not going to want to list, uh, miss, list, please. I list, you miss, don't miss. Uh, we're going to do the uh, mech contest, a uh, quick update on that. Uh, and then we're going to take a trip down memory lane and look at some of my favorite knockoff value toy play sets at discount stores throughout the years. Uh, so a lot of good stuff out there. And uh, we're going to look at some of my favorites. So but other people have like photo albums of their kids. You have photo albums of, of toys from yesteryear. That's right. Yeah. Not every one that I bought. So here's a new entry that wasn't on the list. And I put it first just to get through it. But the uh, Aquaman to uh, four inch stuff from Spin Master hit Walmart's uh, Friday. I think I start seeing it pop up. Everyone. I went to Walmart yesterday. And here it is. They didn't even take all the cardboard kind of packing slips out of there. But yeah, it's just a pallet display right there in the middle of the floor. You can't miss it. Um, you got the sub and the two in the two pack there. I think that's still like thirty five bucks, which ah, it doesn't really make mm -hmm. sense to me because the individual figures are surprisingly very affordable. Only seven dollars each. So you got like fourteen there, and I guess yeah, another twenty for the ship i don't know you got the the 12 inch or are these 10 or 12 inch dolls I'm i think not sure. they are i think they're they're um 12 yeah they're 12s yeah 
and then all the four inch figures, which is what I picked up and I got one of each. Um, so we've got uh, Aquaman and then stealth suit Aquaman. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was telling Jim before the show, I never even saw the original Aquaman movie. <laughs> so, you know, I have the Spin Master Aquaman from just like the comic based uh, line. Uh, but I did pick them up and I checked them out. And, you know, I've got them here with me. Um, not bad. Not bad. It's the movie scale. So it's they're slightly smaller than like the original um, Spin Master 4 inch figures. Uh, just so you can see them there. Um, they're not bad. Uh, we'll go through them here. I think the Black Manta looks really cool. That's a sharp looking figure. The packaging, oh, yeah. they're kind of just strapped into that card like that as, I guess, a cheaper packaging kind of thing. Maybe that's why they're only seven bucks now. Because I think the original Spin Master are like nine dollars. So these are like three dollars cheaper. So uh, there is Mira, who I've never seen the first movie either. So I don't know, you know, if she's great in that. She did come with some. Um, like water based, does she shoot water in the? Is that her power? She does. That's her okay. power. Well, the accessories she came with, I will say, are and maybe um, let me pull myself. Can I? Let me, uh, let me do this. Go big. They they give you these water kind of fist accessories. Um, I haven't done a review on these or anything, but they really suck. They're really hard it to get her to even hold in any way. I can't even get them on her hands. There was two of them. One looks like a big water kind of punch. And then one's like a smaller one. And, you know, I took pictures of them yesterday and I couldn't even get these to stay in her hand. So, I mean, like that's the best I could get and it falls right out. So like, I don't, you know, I play values. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I think the yeah. other figures, like their weapons, are cool. You know, the, yep. uh, bring them back up. But yeah, yep, Scott is correct. There was a uh, mini series with Aquaman where he was wearing a a stealth suit that was kind of a a blue ocean camouflage. Okay, it's very reminiscent of what they did in this new movie. And yeah, the first movie I thought was pretty good. Uh, Amber Heard, notwithstanding, she didn't do a bad job. But as yeah. a person, she kind of garbage. But as you know, she did a good job as Mira. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I mean, I like Aquaman. I think he looks okay. His trident's cool. His uh, accessory works. I like the the weapons. Water fist fail. Yeah, yep. I don't know. <laughs> it's you know. Oh, Robert's oh, hanging Robert. out. Says he's catch us on the replay. Very cool. All right, man. Have a great day. Uh, so yeah, there she is. Uh, looks okay. Uh, female yeah. figures are, you know, uh, they always do the thing with the molded hair though, that really greatly restricts their ability to turn their head in any meaningful way. And I know that there's really, uh, I don't know, I guess it's a, it's a toss up between, you know, the sculpted hair or giving her like a short haircut or a ponytail, but right. I wish there was some kind of better solution for that because I noticed that at least with spin masters, there. their female figures can actually stand. They're not so spindly that, you know, they're, yeah. they can't. I'll tell you up. of all of these though, she was the hardest to pose uh, mm -hmm. because she's uh, significantly smaller than like Aquaman, you know, and as such right. her feet are smaller and, and they have a smaller footprint. Uh, but, I mean, for seven bucks, I'm not really bitching about these. You know, they're they're no, not bad. They're okay. You know, they're stealth suit uh, Aquaman, and he, you know he looks pretty cool, pretty plain. Um, Manta's my favorite man. Black Manta looks great. I like the trident. I like the sword. Um, I I like the figure. The back actually has a little more detail. Uh, mm -hmm. He's got this, you know, the the tanks on the back and everything, and some nice sculpting there. He looks really cool. Uh, the cool. only figure that I really, I guess, is this guy, Orm. Orm. Orm, Orm. Yeah. What yeah. the hell? He just looks like generic background character number three. I know he's yeah. probably also wearing a stealth suit, I guess, or or something. Right. He, he is the Ocean Master from the comic books, but here he just looks kind of plain Jane. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm not know. even sure if he's holding that weapon right. I don't even know what the fuck it is. So, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just yeah. stuck it out his hand however I could. Uh, but yeah, 
uh, that's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see that, Scott. Uh, but I, yeah, I haven't seen the movie, so he just looks very plain. It doesn't look like they put much. Uh, he looked better know. in the first movie. He yeah. had a nice costume. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Thought it was Manta without the helmet. Maybe, yeah. I, I just, it just looks generic. That's all. Uh, you know. So uh, the next thing, that's all the uh, Aquaman stuff I got. I didn't get the uh, sub uh, because Gojitron picked that up, and he did a review on it. And I think I might pick it up, but I'm going to kind of – I learned my lesson from the Flash movies. Um, all that stuff kind of went clearance after mm -hmm. the movie and was real affordable. So if I could pick one up on clearance, I'll probably do it then. You know, and, Cool. Uh, Rolando is in the house. Hey, how's it going, buddy? So, uh, you're next... just oh. telling us about uh, Marauders has put out something new. Uh, they're doing heads with interchangeable hair. That's new for them. Interesting. Yeah, that is cool. Um, Oops. So, we've got uh, the new announcement here. And uh, Largo, I hope you like the figure that I made there. That is the. Uh, that is Guatemala uh, Luke with uh, he's got his coffee and his rooster carrying backpack. Uh, Eduardo is my Jedi Master. So it's appropriate. <laughs> it's kind of like Master Blaster, but the uh, yeah the rooster's in charge and he just tells you what to do. <laughs> Your his vehicle, and uh, this was brought to my attention by Grinded Jim. That's why you see GrindedJim.com. I did invite Jim to come on today and talk about it and. Uh, he might be here, so I thought he said he was coming, but he could be running late. Um, but we'll get right into it. Just take a look. So uh, sometime late last week, uh, there was this announcement of this uh, new um, Epic Hero series. Uh, previously, Marvel's been doing that. That's the X-Men 97 stuff and the Spider-Man and Avengers things. Um, but they're, they're, they're doing Star Wars now. And uh, I also saw this on the uh, 118 Archive. If uh, you don't follow him, he's on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. But he usually springs the news on this stuff. You know, that's usually where I get it from. Uh, but in this case, it was going to Jim. And then shortly later, I saw it on the 118 Archive. Uh, these have not been officially announced, though. So all of these pictures, I tried to find a source for them to get more details and more information. Uh, so these are four-inch figures in the epic hero scale of modern sculpt Star Wars figures. So we have Luke, and this is Luke from the television show. Um, Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan television show, I believe. Uh, we have a Mandalorian, Grogu, uh, Ahsoka, uh, and also the Mandalorian again. I guess I put him twice. And uh, we've got a couple of deluxe figures. You have Sabine and uh, Paz Vizsla. Uh, so. so they're definitely trying to promote the new Disney Plus shows with these, it looks like. And they're, yeah. this is, I would say, yeah, it's definitely a kid-focused line like you're seeing there. It's very similar to the Marvel line that they've just recently been putting out. So it makes sense. Yes. So Lower price thing... point for kids. Yeah, so it, you know, this is just what was released with the post, so I don't know. And this was echoed on a couple things, but nothing officially from Hasbro on this. Peace, man. <laughs> Boba Hicks. Uh, granted, Jim did notice, though, that the, the neck on the Stormtrooper is not painted black, and uh, mm. that kind of annoyed him. Yeah, so that was one critique. And then, yeah, from the pictures, they don't look like... Uh, they are. They look. Yeah, they look five POA. POA. It's hard to say. Yeah. So it's hard to say without an official post or an official listing of these, you know, because I don't know. It doesn't look like it. It's pretty clear, but I will say that on some of these epic hero figures, in the pictures, it's not exactly like you can't see the joint perfectly. I would say, you know, this is probably a good example. Like his knee, you can't tell. They could be. They could not be. The only critique i would have of this series is that um what does epic hero series mean you know so from what this is telling me it just means that it's four inch figures and mm -hmm. i assumed it was just like the marvel stuff which was almost all like 11 poa 
which isn't the most points of articulation, but it is enough to have some fun. And, you know, on a kid's baseline, I think it's, it's pretty good. It's a good middle ground, you know, where you're not over articulating, nor are you, uh, you know, just kind of under articulating. You can have some fun with them. And that's the point. Uh, so I don't hate these. I don't love them. I'm kind of just, eh, I've seen a little bit of a, uh, some of the posts on this had some really like volatile comments on it, you know, either for or against uh, very strong opinions. And I don't have a strong opinion on this line either way. Um, according to Jedi Insider, these will be basic figures, vehicles and deluxe items. Now that Ian, is exactly what got me excited for these was I was thinking power of the force two with better articulation would be kind of like the best of both worlds. Like that's the, the, the middle ground that I would love to see these like thrive in because um, originally, you know, power of the force two has, you know, people have critiques of the, the things, but the availability of them, the affordability of them and the, the amount of uh, vehicles and play sets, that, you know, released was kind of, um, you know, a, a it was a great time to be a collector. You know, when I was around and I'd love to see those times come back. I, I like the fact that, you know, vehicles have been sorely neglected by uh, the vintage collection and some of the others. And that was kind of the, the, the main reason to collect in 118 scale was so you could have vehicles and play sets. Sure. So if they're bringing that back with this Epic thing, that's good. Um, I can see where this would be polarizing, though. If you've been yeah. collecting a certain scale, I, I went in. I went through this with my um, uh, the DC multiverse and universe stuff. Mattel did everything in six inch scale. McFarland got the license and decided let's bump it up to seven inch, so everything's totally incompatible with what you already have collected. So I could see if somebody's been collecting vintage collection, these are four inch. They're not to scale with what you already yeah. have. Nobody wants to start a new collection like that. Oh, it was kind That's of like, cool. like that with the Epic Heroes series when they came out as well. They had recently just done that retro card uh, series, the five POA figures, and they had some fantastic figures in that series design-wise. The five POA left a little something to be desired, right? And, you know, I was just saying, like, if they did this with those five POA figure design choices, they would have a knockout home run hit you know, of a, of a toy line. Um, oh, Infinity War Torn. Sure, exactly. Yeah. Middle ground between 5 POA and TVC would be what finally gets me to pick up Star Wars toys again. And vehicles and play sets. Um, yeah, and like <laughs> yeah. Scott's saying, there have been some false starts, like Disney's toy box stuff that was kind of a weird thing. They did some preschool-type sure. toys that were just weird scales that didn't go with mm -hmm. anything. This, this, I think, might be a better way to go. We'll see. So just for comparison, I put together a couple of these slides um, just to see that these are all like the most recent kind of, um, you know, things. And you can kind of see where Epic Hero series would be somewhere in between, you know, this retro, which that retro Darth, though, kind of looks cool with the red eyes. I really like him. Uh, but, you know. Um, I find the TBC figures, and this is just my opinion, they might be a little too small. I love that they're articulated, but they seem a little fiddly. Like, they're just mm -hmm. holding some of their accessories. doesn't work great. They don't stand well. So bumping them up to four inch and making them a little you know, more substantial might, might be a little more fun for them. I don't know. Uh, but... Here we go. You can see it's kind of, it's not as basic as the retro. It's not as detailed or articulated as the GVC, but the price does reflect that. And it's, I guess it's really just up to the consumer, but it does seem silly to have three lines out at the same time. It really does. Thank scale. you, Bjorn. He, he put a link here for Jedi Insider if you want more detail oh, as wonderful. what's what the scoop <laughs> is out there. Oh, that's good. That's good. I kind of, I'm kind of interested. Was there, is the Jedi Insider article a, um, can I just ask, is that a, is that like an official release? Do they have all the details? Like it's all confirmed or is it, 
I'm trying to pull. No, I, I, I think it's still speculation, but there's, okay. there's been nothing official yet, but there have been leaks. Gotcha. Okay. So these are pretty much leaked uh, right now, right? So like, here's the Ahsoka. This is the vintage collection. I don't think this is the same Ahsoka that I have. Hold on one second. Let me grab her. Yeah, the vintage one is kind of spindly. I mean, she was tiny in the Clone Wars, but I can see where that figure would be really hard to pose because it's so dainty. So uh, the epic version, even though it's based on the new epic, or I mean the new um, Ahsoka TV show. Oh, no, it is. It's got a good look to it. Yeah, It is something I have, yeah. Did I pull myself out? Yeah. Okay. You did. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the same one I had. I, I like her. I mean, she's okay, but and she has like ankle, you know, rockers and everything. But I will tell you, she kind of is a pain to to get standing, and she doesn't hold her small lightsaber very well. That's why I don't think I have it with her. Um, you know, this is reminiscent of what happened with Hasbro when they did um, they did a line called Marvel Universe, which was one eighteen scale, yeah. super articulated. But they were too fiddly because they had too much articulation. Then they started yeah. coming out with that retro, which was more of a five to six POA. And they look better and they don't have as much articulation, but they can stand up without, you know, a lot of. Yeah, hassle. some of them looked almost unnatural, like when like mm -hmm. if they were turned and the joints were pretty loose. I think uh, I think as you scale up, it's a little easier to to maintain your form. And still have that extended articulation. I mean, yep. I don't mind them, but once again, these figures, you know, when they were even eleven dollars, I was okay with them. Uh, but in recent, some of the recent, uh, you know, outings to the store, these are like seventeen dollars in some cases. You know, at least fifteen, and it's kind of like the pricing's all over, all over the place. Even uh, what was his name? Um, this guy, Paz Vizsla, they did mm -hmm. one and it's like $34 or $27 for the deluxe orange figure. And he yeah, looks a lot, cool, but that's a lot, you know? Um, I mean, I don't really love the character that much, you know, that I would, I would pay that much for him, you know, or those like retro Boba Fett. Now here's like the Luke, for example, I think the vintage collection Luke looks nice. This retro mm -hmm. one, Ah, you know, I don't know. The Epic Hero series one, though, I think has a nice face sculpt. You know, I know that he's only five p away, but the proportions look pretty cool, like pretty well done, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. don't see any knees or elbows on that. Yeah, but this could just be a digital either. render too. It's so yeah, it's hard to say. No, um, like I said, I'll be very confused if uh, maybe you know. Epic hero scale just means four inch is kind of weird. I thought it was kind of this whole body construction type, you know, thing, which I, I've said already, but you know, just uh, kind of bugs me. Um, uh, so yeah, anyone uh, have any comments on that? Um, which is good, I thought it'd be a little more divisive. I thought people because the comments I was kind of worried about reporting on this because other people were going to start freaking out. Uh, I think it's, it's definitely a wait and see kind of thing. People are curious what's sure. going on with this. Well, um, or the, just some of those people that are just, you know, really, uh, they just live on the comment sections of those posts and they don't, they didn't join the winning team yet. So <laughs> we it. just have cool people. I think we just have cool people. Uh, yeah. What man? Uh, what's un unrelated, but interesting uh, point. Ooh. Fresh monkey fiction. Uh, has uh, put out a Soldiers of Fortune teaser for, you know, maybe some some A team vibes there. That would be very cool. That would what be perfect. I would love that. I've got the uh, the original one for the three and three quarter inch figures. The van. I have the one that came out with the movie. I don't have any of the movie figures. I would prefer probably the Fresh Monkey Fiction ones. Uh, no knees, no need. <laughs> All right. As long as they fit in a vehicle. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. So, what else do we got going on here? We've got uh, O Ring updates. We're going to talk about the Retro Legend of the Hidden Force <laughs> and Delta 17. Uh, that is not an official slogan for the Retros line, but I thought it should be. 
Um, and that is by Zika Toys or Zyka Toys. Uh, they've done things like the Sectors, the uh, um, uh, what were these? The Captain Action figures. They did Captain Action. They did Six Million Dollar Man. They did a couple of other um, sec. Yeah, you said Sectors, right? The in insect yeah. guys. So they, they've done a couple of older. They've done some cool stuff. Uh, IPs. Mm -hmm. Well, their retros Kickstarter ends the fifteenth, which is what next Wednesday, I believe. Coming up soon. Yeah. Um, is that right? I, my calendar's not to, working. Today's the twelfth, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, next Wednesday. Hard. So it, it closes Wednesday. So if you want to get in on it, I did put a link in the description. Um, and this is what the uh, first line of the retros will include. Uh, it is six figures if you want to get the whole line. But you could pick up just one or, you know, whichever ones you want. The, the one thing about this line that's a little different than... Um, some of the other Kickstarters out there is that um, the retros here, you have uh, four characters from the, uh, the, the fist uh, from invincible toys, right? Retros should be a serial. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, these are based on the fist line, which is a six inch line. That's also, I think in a Kickstarter right now, uh, but these are retro uh, O ring figure kind of, examples of them uh so you got these two guys you got mad dog and the fish trooper uh, i like our, them. our favorite uh, cool. skateboarding toy hey. collectors in the house good I'm to see toys. It. nice i think i saw some other people pop in too right uh mcr is here hey mcr how are you and uh, yep so yeah, we have a few, um, few comments popping in about the uh, this new epic. Oh uh, yeah, people. let's let's see what they say before we get too so far away. Mister Vasquez is saying uh, he thinks that these new epics are probably going to be five POA so that they don't detract from people who are collecting vintage uh, sure. collection, which makes sense. I mean, so. if the if the vehicles come out, I'll be really happy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's uh, saw a couple of comments along that line. It's like, hey, if vehicles are coming and they're compatible, definitely I could care less about the figures, but yeah. definitely would like to see vehicles. Yeah. So. And I mean, some of those like uh, the Stormtrooper, maybe, or some, you know, some of those figures, like kind of army builders, if they're cheap alternatives, especially if you're just going to have them lined up in formation or something. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And yeah, I thought I, I liked the uh, the Luke and the uh, the Paz. I thought those were two cool figures that I'd probably pick up from that series. The Paz Vizsla and the Luke to me looked the best, but uh, vehicles for sure. Yeah. So I don't know the story of Fist, but I think these characters just look cool. The Fish Trooper and Mad Dog. I'd want them in my you know even if they just hang out with your Joes. Uh, I think they'd be fun. These I really want. These are the uh, these safe figures, the Doom Trooper and the Doom Center. These orcs. Oh my god, I so want these guys. Um, look at these. They just look badass. I, I love it. Uh, so I'd really love to see these get made. Um, and even if the you know the Kickstarter doesn't go through, I'd love for them to find a way to make these. <laughs> <laughs> and sell them individually because I would be so down with them. Uh, but yeah, then uh, they have the Pocket People, which is kind of like an homage to the um, Fisher Price Adventure People, uh, mm -hmm. where they'll they'll be doing some um, the you know these two to start, but they'll be doing some kind of overing figures based on some of those guys. Where you have uh, Hamilton's Vader's Troopers here and the Mercenary, um, great great troop builders, you know. Yeah, that would be uh, good background guys for pretty much anything you collect in this scale. Yeah, so pretty cool. And uh, just so you know, if you go on the Zyka Toys website, you can get this Riot vs. Eagle Force O-Ring Commando Trooper uh, for 15 bucks, which is a pretty sweet deal. Uh, they still have them for sale. And, uh, you know, just get your O-Ring Army Builders in there. Um 
MCR has had enough of retro. It's like let's let's come up let's with some new forward. stuff. The vintage collection, joy toy, etc. Okay, all right. Uh, so yeah, uh, those are your O ring updates. That ends on eleven fifteen. So uh, <laughs> yes, uh, that going? is uh, Dulcinea. Uh, my my one of my dogs is chasing a squirrel or something. Let me go see if I can uh, get her to calm down. Sure, we're gonna right jump back. into Legends of the Hidden Force. So Legends of the Hidden Force, uh, their backer kit is opened. Uh, this is funded. They are, I think there is uh, three weeks left. Uh, one of the things they said is they only need 17 backers to go, and everyone uh, who goes all in will get this exclusive extra figure, which is really nice, so they're pushing that. Um, and, you know, if you don't know about it, you've got all these awesome ninja characters. Uh, you could join as a sensei of the uh, Hidden Force for 270 and get all the free exclusives included. All unlocked uh, exclusive figures would be included with that price. Um, so that's pretty cool. And they have another tier here, $95 for the initiate of the uh, Hidden Force. You have 185 Oh, I think I did those backwards. Uh, Hey, Lack, Lack Savrak, how are you, buddy? Long time no see. Um, yeah, and you can also just buy one figure. So if you you picked up just one figure, and that could be any figure you like, any one figure for $24. Uh, so yeah, uh, you have until November 30th. If you're interested, go check out uh, Legend uh, Legends of the Hidden Force. Uh, get there, push them over the line, and everyone gets a free figure. It's a pretty cool win-win for everyone. Uh, so I think that's pretty neat. Um, good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things are going great, Lack. Hey, Lack. So good to see you. Yeah, long time no see. Long time, yeah. And uh, Delta 17 coming soon. We've talked about this before. Probably the one I'm most excited for. Uh, so nothing new this week, but I just wanted to run through it real quick, uh, guys. Uh, these are in process. They're arriving very soon and will be available for sale. Um, I'm very soon, like like as soon as they get they get in there and they get done. So I don't know if it's going to be you know weeks from now or maybe December, but you know these are coming. These are here. No Kickstarter. This is funded, processed, made. They're coming out. If you want to know more about them, go over to Toy Connections channel. He did a great series of videos. One on the uh, Delta 17 heroes. He did another one on the Delta 17 villains. Oh, and speak of the Ken, and he, uh, he arrives. Uh, so, yeah. There if you is. say his name three times in a mirror, does he just pop out? I guess he, yeah, he's going to pop up behind me or something. He did one on the villains, and then he also did a wonderful video on like an Owen characters breakdown where he kind of touches base on all of these. Uh, kind of companies and products that are coming out as part of the O-Ring uh, Renaissance. So you might want to go check that out. And like I said, uh, go sign up on their uh, website because, you know, as soon as these things are ready to go, they're going to launch. And, you know, this is sooner than later. These are coming out. If you'd like, if you're more of the reading type and you don't like Ken talking at you, you can go check out the uh, toyhabits.com. Did a wonderful wonderful uh article that breaks down all the characters and all the products coming out and you could go over to toyhabits.com and check that out uh there are links to uh ken's channel and all of the uh stuff coming and that was just a little teaser photo they shipped uh of of all the stuff palletized and get ready to you know be put on a cargo ship so uh yeah they're here guys so if you're excited for this like i am just hang in there because they're coming sooner rather than later. Uh, so, yeah, really cool. Uh, so this next part. <laughs> Hitman, Hitman. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That's funny. Uh, yeah. So the next part that we're going to talk about, and this is kind of, uh, it's all going to tie into this other thing that I wanted to talk about. But, uh, you know, custom creators, you know, there are some people out there doing wonderful things man they're doing talented things so you know in some cases these uh these custom creators are just there to inspire others they're not technically selling anything 
Uh, they're just making what they think is cool. So, you know, um, other people do run this as like their little side business. And, you know, I just want to show you some of the ones that I think are really neat and, uh, you know, send some business their way if you're in the market for some cool stuff. So uh, the first one, Christopher George, I think I think one of my first videos on his challenge, I, uh, on channel, I talked about him because he he scratch builds everything out of cardboard, mostly cardboard, and just makes what he likes, you know, and he's just a wonderfully talented guy. Really cool dude, and uh, you got to see some of the stuff he's up to. Uh, this last thing's going to blow you away. Uh, so, you know, here's just some of the things, you know, for uh, the Kentucky Joe Con. He made that big Ragnarok, the big airship from the intro to the movie. The thing was like eight feet long or nine feet long. Just great. Just great. Uh, but you can see some of these tanks and other other things he's built. Uh, wonderful creations. He does this all kind of just scratch built by hand and just because he likes to do it. Um, he, uh, so we got this Cobra mothership news, you know, 32 inches wide. Uh, you know, so Christopher George said, hold my beer. And he went and started mocking <laughs> it up. It's nine feet wide. This thing nice. is freaking enormous. And I'm not saying that this is practical or reasonable in any way. But it's fucking awesome, right? So check, take a look. He, these are just the uh, preliminary things that he started working on. Uh, and his awesome cat. This picture of his cat, I had to include it here. Uh, just because his cat's like, I think he was telling the cat to get out of the picture. And the cat's like, ah. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Look at the figures in the eye of the ship that's pretty yeah, awesome. now that's to scale that's that, yeah, that's that makes pretty sense wicked, man that's cool man uh so yeah christopher is just just a legend man look at this stuff it looks amazing uh follow him on instagram once again just like everything else there's links in the description most of you guys probably already follow these people um but, you know, here's some just I, – and I don't want to show you everything the guy does. I want you to go over there and support his channel, his YouTube, oh, yeah. his, uh, his thing, and you could just check it out for yourself. But, you know, he sees a need for something, and he just makes it himself. He, I want a cool tank. There you go. He makes one. He made this yep. freaking awesome – I don't even know what he calls it. It's probably over on his channel. But, you know, but, you know, for the eels, he made like this like kind of like stingray. Yeah, Manta looking uh, ship. That's so cool. That's a <laughs> lot of Coco Pebbles to, to make that. Yeah. <laughs> Get those boxes. Yeah. He even did a uh, cardboard uh, mock up of the uh, missile uh, command, but he did missile it. Missile command. Yeah. Yeah, the missile command, which is nice. And, uh, you know, here's just some of his stuff. He just uses product boxes. And, um, and you got to even see it, man. On some of these, he takes these things after he hardens them. And he's knocking them on the table. They're just as, uh, they are just as uh, adorable as some of the plastic toys we get. You know, he, he really yep. does them up. And so, yeah, what's really was... cool is he will do the things that never got made, but that were in certain shows or cartoons. His attention to detail is amazing. So really yeah, see what he's coming up with. He's been on a bunch of shows and I got to get him. I've had some off, you know, screen conversations with him and he's just a terrific guy. Um, it's really me. It's just, I got to get my crap together and get people booked on the show. Cause I'd love to talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and, 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 and find out more about his process and all the things. It's just, uh, half the time this show is just scraped together minutes before it goes live. So, you know, I got to get organized and, and held you know, together with bu bubble gum and bailing. Yeah. Water. I, you know, if I, or, or you know, or, not have a job that would be great then i'd have time for this stuff but you know i got that real life crap to worry about uh get you just gotta win to that lottery yep <laughs> the next person is uh castle bro skull over on instagram now i, I you know i know uh get, get your craft together well. <laughs> uh, uh, that's hilarious uh I've known this guy since like uh, when I first got back into collecting, you know, I did that boat contest where I sent boats to people and Kevin here, he repainted one and did it. And I've been following him on Instagram since. And uh, this guy actually just a super skilled and talented painter. 
Uh, but he does do commissions. And um, I don't know if nice. he has any other social media, but if you need something painted, you could just send it to him, and he, he does commissions. So um, just look at some of these gray skulls that he did. Just super talented, man. And uh, that tank down there with scrap iron on the Mobat. Nice. Was, yeah. Um, and I just want to highlight it. If you weren't following him, go follow him. If uh, if you love a custom toy or if you got something and you'd like to have it jazzed up, this is your dude, man. He's a really great guy. Uh, here's just some more of his products. And he's got so much more. This guy posts all the time. Uh, once again, I don't want to show you everything he's got. I just want you to, you know, take a look at some of the cool things he's done and go check him out. Uh, yeah. Do you have yeah. links for this guy in the description? That's right. Yeah. Right in the description. You could go Very and cool. uh, check him out. Yeah. Um, like he did wonders on that, like Timmy Toys mountain thing or base in the middle. Oh, there. yeah. And like we've said, a lot of these basic play sets have detail molded into them. If you've hey. got some modicum of talent for shading and painting, you can really make them something. And this is a great example. Yeah. So just something I like, you know, not, not, <laughs> I'm not affiliated with him or anything. I don't even think he knows I'm doing this. This next guy I did talk to recently and, uh, you know, he said he didn't mind me showing some of his work on the show and uh, definitely, you know, uh, looking forward to it. I own a couple of these models and this was just kind of a point where, so this guy is a 3D modeler and he sells some of his designs. Uh, Lack just did a video featuring an original Fair. Fairburn, Fair, yeah. Fairburn Sykes Commando Dagger with an original oh. Randall fighting knife. Oh, that's very cool. Well, yeah, very we'll definitely cool. check yeah. that out. Yeah, we will check that out. Very cool. So um, we'll be on. Jordan, if you could link it. Yeah, go ahead and link it in the chat. Uh, so, yeah, this next guy. So, so, so part of the thing with, uh, you know, people liking stuff that's coming out, people not liking stuff that's coming out, and, you know, that, that feeling that, like, toy companies are just not, they don't have their, their finger on the pulse of the community. They're putting stuff out, and it's like almost right. They can never get it quite right. You know, I recommend that, and, you know, I'm a hypocrite too because I own a 3D printer, and I never 3D print anything because I never have time. But I really think the future is uh, we all get 3D printers, and then we all just make our own stuff because then you can make it just the right way you like it there. Uh, so in this case, our next person here, uh, Mr. Vivid Motion Customs over on Instagram. Um, he also has a, uh, a really nice, um, Colts 3d page where he sells these models. Uh, but I've found him on Instagram and I've been following him for quite some time now. And a lot of his stuff is inspired by like the Kenner five POA things, but, uh, with a little twist on it, you know, you can see the little mm -hmm. Cthulhu kind of guy. Uh, but you know, you see other, other figures being made, uh, really, really cool stuff. Uh, here is a Coors keg uh, bot. Some of them are hilarious. Some of them are, you know, uh, that R2-D2's got a little something going on there that's pretty funny. Um, yep. The canine do? slash uh, mouse droid crossover. That's a nice one. Yeah. I thought that uh, some, some people might like this one, too. The Bosque uh, old school Godzilla crossover there. Nice. The upper, upper left-hand corner. These uh these dead snow troopers and Tie Fighter pilots, uh he gave those out for free during Halloween. Uh, you got Pennywise, oh, cool. you got these uh these Pac Man ghost droids, which are fun. Uh, just a really nice um, mix. I I like his style. It's it doesn't it's fun. Uh, I think that Leia in the Devil costume was his free giveaway last year. He does it like around Halloween. Yeah, you know, but most of these he only charges a couple bucks for. Um, you know, and then you can print them out yourself. The future is 4D printed NFT AO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's geez. not giving up on that. <laughs> Lex uh, saying they have a 3D printer that works in metal now. That sounds that's, very that's interesting. Cool. Yeah. So, really cool guy. You can go follow him over on Colts. I have links to all his uh, stuff there. Uh, and, you know, he even says it right in here in his little bio is also, if you don't have a 3D printer, you can visit his store on Etsy. He prints them out. Uh, if you're looking for some other stuff, uh, card backs, other things like that, he knows someone who, uh, you know, he's got you covered. So, you know, 
he could he could help you out. And like I said, he's doing this. He's having a lot of fun. He's a really yeah that that Godzilla boss. That's a great idea. Stuff. Yeah, really cool. Uh, this Gizmo e Ewok is a little is a little fun. Uh, there's some other guys, and I I think I kind of posted some of these things twice. But uh, what the hell? Let's take a look at them a second time. The two headed uh, Gamorrean guard. I love it. <laughs> right? Is that Pumpkin? What's his name? Uh, next to it. What was his? Name? He's uh, he's from a horror movie. Um, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead, isn't it? I think it is. Mm -hmm. But Oscar the Grouch coming out of the R2 unit can. That is great. You've got um, you've got Batman, <laughs> the Batman DeLorean over here. That's hilarious. And these little uh, these are just these are just fantastic. So anyway, Vivid Motion Customs um, over on Instagram. Go follow him. Um, if you want to, you know, make one of these characters, go pick one up. He could even print one up for you. Uh, there's no excuse to not have some fun here, you know, and uh, I love this. There's a Bender from Futurama, my favorite show, um, C-3PO mix here. I really like him. And uh, the Slimer Jabba is pretty funny, too. And I thought that um, Bjorn would like the uh, Freddy Krueger Ewok, um, but maybe not. He might not be into Freddy Krueger. I know he likes Ewoks, but uh, that's it, guys. Those are my... Uh, you know, creator spotlight there. I'd love to, you know, feature your stuff if you do something. That's just stuff that I think is really cool. And, you know, I'd like to pick up his models. And once again, they're very affordable. Just a couple dollars each for the models and you can print them up. Uh, so, yeah, totally reasonable. Um, what else do we have? Oh, the Met Contest, guys. So the Met yep. Contest, uh, that is the Chat May Met Contest, which you can see the progress on mine has come along so far. It looks so much different than the original. <laughs> no, I haven't even started mine yet, so I, I don't know who the hell I'm talking about. Uh, I have gotten one entry from someone, and it's a pretty cool one. Uh, but yeah, if you want to if you want to get one of those, get in on it. Um, the contest entries are due 11-19, which is next Sunday. And uh, the winner will be announced the week after. And you can email entries to 118actionuniverse at gmail.com. Uh, I'd appreciate it. You could also Instagram or Facebook message me. That's fine, too. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, so discount store knockoffs and value sets. Guys, we're going to skip this for right now because I, uh, I messed up. And we're going to go right into other oh. stuff, which I also messed up. Um, so here's the leak uh, for for Boba Hicks so he can get out of here. Uh, hmm. Was uh, Well, we've seen the Transformers and G.I. Joe crossovers coming out. We uh, got the Mega Megatron Hiss. We got the Bumblebee and Awestriker. We have the uh, Thunder Machine and Soundwave coming out. The new leak, uh, this just showed up on some social media sites, was for the Sergeant Slaughter Triple T and Cup. From, uh, hmm. So you have Cup transforms into the Triple T, and the set is supposed to come with Sergeant Slaughter and Leatherneck. And really? Once again, I'm so sorry, I meant to put in here, uh, these slides or these pictures come from 3D Joe's. Go over to 3djoes.com. Best uh, site in the biz and uh, support Carson there. Uh, so thank you for that. Sorry I didn't put it in there. Uh, but yeah, those pictures come from 3D Joe's. But then that's just a picture of Cup I got off of um, a random site. I don't know if that's what he's going to look like. But um, yeah, that's the latest one. Um, what do you think? I know you're not really thrilled by these or uh, do you like them? I picked up the, the other three. I would, I'd love to get an O-ring Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm interested just for that and Leatherneck. He's a, he's a great yeah. uh, character. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I'll have to see how well uh, it, it converts from Triple T to sure. Transformer. I will say, on the one, yeah, the ones I got, they did a marvelous job of the vehicle. Like the vehicle is like a one for one, but then they had to make some kind of like compromises to get the robot correct. You know, so like on right. um, on the his tank, there may be some 
weird stuff going on there. And then I think also on the Law Striker, there was, you know, but the vehicle forms look fantastic. You know, and they do look great. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's the leak. I don't know much about it. Uh, so then this is just on other stuff. Too bad the Iron Sheik didn't work for Cobra. You know, that would have been pretty hilarious, <laughs> actually. Uh, so I was at Dollar Tree, and I saw these... Um, you know, I'm always looking at everything and seeing, you know, does this make, uh, could I make this work with 118 scale? So I saw these uh, silly little doll clothing uh, sets and I bought a couple. I took them home and they did work with my 118 scale figure, surprisingly, uh, nice. which was hilarious was that the sneakers actually fit on their, over their feet, which I thought was just wild, you know? Um, and they're, yeah, the clothes were way too big, and what I did was, because I had no talent, is I just took a zip tie and just cinched it up and then just, like, cranked it down. Uh, but, yeah, the, the whole point was that it was just a stupid, fun thing to do. Obviously, I put Carnage in the shirt that says Hugs. <laughs> um, I was looking for my Hulk figure to put it in, in that one. Uh, I think the other shirt says, Be Happy. Here's Gung Ho. So I put in my uh, a variety of uh, fig, you know, figures. That's a three and three quarter. I think I'm going to put Hulk in that Be Happy shirt, maybe, uh, once I find him. Uh, but yeah, it, it was pretty funny. I posted on Instagram. You may have followed it. Uh, this Aquaman Spin Master figure in this outfit is just hilarious because Aquaman's pretty beefy. Those uh, those those original Spin Master figures are pretty jacked up. So he fills that, that shirt up pretty well. Uh, the length is a little long and the pants are too long, but I think with a couple trim, you know, a couple snips and uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, Battery Bob, yep. yes. Will this 118? Yep. And you know, in my head I've been playing will this G.I. Joe was like the thing I've been playing since like the 80s or 90s, like when G.I. Joe stopped being made. You know, I would pick something up and go like, can I fit a G.I. Joe figure in this? Because, uh, yeah, uh, I would do that. So uh, I just thought it was funny. Uh, yeah, someone thought that was Thor. It kind of does look like a civilian Thor, I guess, right? They have a similar look. Um, here's Definitely them, the, uh, the brawny paper towel guy. I could see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, here's them all dressed up and uh, and set up. There was also, um, you know, I forgot to, oh, a set of boots that uh, that came in the set that I forgot to use, uh, which are pretty good. And I just threw them on this Chatmay figure. Uh, there was also a necklace and a handbag. Uh, they all also came with backpacks, which I don't know if you could really see in the pictures, but the backpacks fit on four inch figures very well, too. So if you want a good backpack and I think they do open and you can put stuff inside. So uh, for dollar twenty five, you can't beat it. It's a good, cheap fun. You know what I mean? Like, I'm probably not going to I'm not thinking that I revolutionized the action figure industry here by slapping some stupid dog clothes on here, but. Uh, at least one other person thought it was a good idea because uh, this guy, Mr. Steve Evans over on uh, Instagram, uh, he actually works on the Epic Heroes series line. Uh, real nice guy. Um, he he liked the idea and uh, he reposted it and uh, gave me a nice shout out and then went the next day and picked up his own and did his own little fashion show with some X-Men characters, which he posted on Instagram as well. Uh, I did put a link to his uh, Instagram and he does have a YouTube channel. I think he said he's premiering a new video sometime today. Uh, but yeah, he actually took out a sewing needle and, uh, and altered the clothes. So they fit a little better <laughs> uh, on video, nice. but, uh, you know, and, and I think I said that on the thing. I said, hey, this is just me messing around. This took me like 15 minutes. Uh, I'm sure someone much more talented than me out there could do something much better with this uh, with this thing. But yeah, he did his X, House of X fashion show, uh, which I thought was pretty funny as well. Uh, so that was that for the other stuff. Uh, the other, other stuff that I got was this RC Dune buggy. And for anyone out there that... Uh, this was $10 at Family Dollar. So if you're at a, a Family Dollar store, uh, check it out because... But will. Will it? Will it 118? Yes, it will 118 because uh, <laughs> that's the whole point of me buying it. If you remember the uh, the 
Crossfire from G.I. Joe uh, was that 118 scale um, figure and uh, thing, which was based on an old Nico uh, Thunder Eagle, which looked like that. And they just kind of oh, yeah. made a new body for it for uh, for GI Joe. This fig, this this one looks great. It looks it fits right in with the other two, right? Which uh, the crossfire was based off of that one. This one was based off of that one. Um, all I had to do is snip a couple little holes in the footwell there, or the 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 floorboard, so floorboard. The feet could go mm-hmm. in, and. Um, and go ahead and slap them in there. And I got them right here so you can see how well he fits. Um, nice. And this was just the orange one. Um, now, this is one that I've been seeing this 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 car in stores for years now. And I just, I, I either like never pick them up or uh, I'd forget about it. And, you know, I saw them this year, so I picked up two. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if you ever desire to get a crossfire. But they're pretty expensive, so this is a great alternative if you want one. I was really hoping to make like a Cobra version because they never made yeah. one. So I Scott's found saying if you wanted to make a mask vehicle out of it, it's it kind of has that. Same yeah, I think flavor. just doing a, a snip or two and throwing a figure in it, and it's good to go. You know, I mean, just as doom buggy, but you know, you could have fun with it. Uh, so yeah, I looked at pictures of some of the accessories on this uh, Yo Joe site. And um, just in my spare time, I started modeling some uh, accessories to print out and put on this one. And these are pretty rudimentary, but I think I got the basic shapes right. Uh, maybe add some greebly kind of details to him so they're not so plain. Uh, but yeah, I could be ready to print these pretty soon. And uh, I think they would look pretty neat. Uh, so once that's all done, I'll, I'll definitely share that with you guys. The other thing is that, uh, you know, Red Bubble. I know I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but we have the 118 shirts. They are on sale this week. They're 30 percent off, so only 16.34. If you want to get a shirt, it would help support the channel. There's also nice. a uh, AF3 shirt over there, and uh, coming soon a uh, Largo's coffee cup shirt. No, uh, whatever, whatever we choose. But some. Oh, an Eduardo shirt. You should make an Eduardo shirt. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I'll work on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be really fun. So. That's not all, folks. I know that says uh, thank you. But, yeah, that was just my other stuff because um, I didn't want to go into the uh, discount store stuff without uh, because it's kind of long. So uh, this was supposed to be part of last week's show, which we didn't do. So this is my favorite time of year, guys. Discount stores uh, are chock full of these uh, closeouts. Um uh, knockoff toys and uh value sets uh you see them stacked up you know to on tables and in the, in the front of these stores and it's just such a great uh time of year for toy collectors you can go to stores like ross dd discount tj max marshall's burlington fells outlet is one that i have here i don't know if you have it in your part of the country uh but it's just like those other stores um well, I've been since I got back into collecting around 2018 because I looked in my uh, my archives and I don't have any pictures from before then. So I really wasn't back into collecting. So in 2018, I started seeing these sets and I started taking pictures of them. And I thought it would be nice to uh, to go back and take a look at some of, the, some of my favorite things. A lot of these may not be available anymore. Uh, some of them you could see repackaged several times over the course of several years. And we'll flip through them real quick. And if you see something you like, we could stop and talk about them. Uh, but here's now, just a Will, screen. back in your uh, your KB toy days, did they have packages like this around the holidays where they would do these? Not or so that- much. We had a couple of things. And I think there's like a new bright. Uh, we would get like a big fire truck every year like a 118 scale fire truck with like lifting ladder and everything, big train sets, um, you know, larger RC cars and stuff like that, but not really mm-hmm. these types of like chat May sets uh, where they were like just generic hero sets, you know, because uh, most of what KB did was closeouts anyway. So we would get huge, you know, we'd get, 
you get the big uh, electronic uh, keyboard, piano set, and things like that. Uh, but yeah, these uh, these sets are just great because they do come with some wild accessories, and that's usually the thing I'm looking at most of the time. You're buying this, and you're kind of just getting rid of the figures, but you're you're keeping that cool stack of stack of crates and stack of barrels, that little laptop. Uh, a oh, lot yeah. of times, the accessories don't make sense. Uh, like you see here, there's like medieval weapons, like this axe and sword and stuff. And, um, they're just all over the place. That briefcase is like larger than they put like missized uh, accessories in there too. In some cases, like that briefcase looks huge. Sometimes they'll give right. you a gun that's more appropriate for like a one twelfth figure. You know, <laughs> but you come up with some fun stuff. A lot of times, these sets for the accessories are worth picking up just to put things in your bits box for who knows what down the road. Yeah. Yep. James saying the new bright world truck was uh, yeah. what they had at KB back yeah, in the day. New bright. Yeah. That was the company hmm. that always. Oh, Scott, Scott that's cool. worked with KB too. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is uh and this one's funny too, this dinosaur play set, because, uh, if you look, well, don't look, but one of the first videos I ever did on this YouTube channel was this plane. I did a video about this place that specifically because <laughs> uh, I just Were you the it, one wearing the, the, the white ice cream type suit going, the plane, the plane, boss? <laughs> yes, that, that was me oh, way back when on YouTube. But it's not a very good video. Uh, it's just me talking about this play set. And uh, it's just funny because, you know, it's here it is, memory lane. These Rampage wrestling figures were pretty neat, though. Look at this. You get uh, some wild guys there. And the accessories are pretty cool. And we're actually going to see some of these accessories, I think, were used in another set. and Maybe even some of these sculpts later on, because you'll see them pop up in all different types of packaging. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like to take pictures of these. I think I shared most of these on my social media back then. But I wasn't doing anything toy related. This one I love, and I did pick this one up, and I have this. Uh, but we've got Fight Squad. Uh, you got the two guys on the on the left and the right are the same figure, just kind of done over. And then Jeanette. in the middle, you have uh, what does that say Not on his belt? It looks like I want to say it's like Japanese or something. I can't really make it out. No clue. I don't know. Eh, it's fun. But, but the yeah, not can... Rocky looks pretty good. Yeah. They're uh the plastic is very they're like uh they're hollow. So they're not even solid plastic. They're like kind of hmm. yeah, they're kind of cheap, but you know, you get what you pay for. I think this whole set was uh Ivan Drago. <laughs> but he's not gonna say, I must break you. He's like, I must hug you tease your hair or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The cheesy grin, that's like... Yeah. And yeah, the other guy on the side there is just uh, the same figure that was on that side, which I think we'll see that exact same figure later on. Yeah, blow mold it. That's right. That's that's what it's called, Salzburg. Yeah, blow mold it. It's Fabio. I can't believe it's not <laughs> fake you. Yeah, yeah, it's Fabio. Uh, this thing is military base M02. Uh, was a pretty cool one and most of these sets it's always like there's like one really cool thing in there and then like everything else is always like kind of sort of the, the base part's pretty cool that transport although it looks like it probably use more wheels it's really it's like a stretch limo apc right it's really long uh and the helicopter just proportionally doesn't look great uh but yeah uh this one in the back there it says the core Military team, army, military, I don't know, a bunch of crazy stuff there. Oh, I can't believe it's not Rocky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the stretch limo um, machine there. Yeah, it definitely That's looks like it's problem. missing some wheels there, but yeah, I guess that it was a cost-cutting like measure. Some of the molded details are, you know, in there. It's cool, though. I didn't buy this one. It was just too big. Um, it does say Joint Operation Strike Team or something in the back. This one was just ugly, and uh, it's just called Warfare Military Combat Mission. And those sandbags, I don't know. Do you do you, do you normally camouflage those or paint them? Not yellow? usually, no. 
<laughs> and the weapons don't look like they match the figures at all. And most of the figures have either missing paint gaps or they're just they're just atrocious. I don't think I bought this set either, but uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, this one I picked up uh, because of the logo. If you look at it, it looks very similar to mm. uh, the G.I. Joe logo. It says police. This one's from Hunts and Toys. But on the back, I thought it was funny because this guy's like in tactical gear with like <laughs> You'd expect like a, a uniformed officer with like handcuffs and a you know, baton or something. This guy's got like an assault rifle. That's different. Yeah, it's definitely reminiscent of the uh, the GI Joe logo. Yeah. So this is police brand new fighting equipment. <laughs> that's just the name of the. That's the name of the toy. That logo, man. Yeah, I picked it up just for that. This one, I have not seen return to stores. This was one that was out at Family Dollars back in 2018. And uh, I've seen a lot of really cool customs. People have redone these. Uh, the ship, it, it doesn't really look like any known ship that I know of. But uh, I've seen a lot of great customs, but I've never seen it uh, come back to stores. I only saw it that one year. Oh, oh and look, cool. there's... There's the dune buggy from 2018. I told you I've been seeing this thing on shelves for years. It's and I just picked up two. Yeah. Um, no Way Farms is in the house. Good hey, to see No Way. How are you? And so here's this uh, this rescue team firefighter set. That's cool. Really uh, cheaply made figures. Uh, the problem is one of them there, they just painted his face black, but his neck is still like... Uh, beige it's really weird looking you see it hmm. yeah yeah it's, <laughs> it's just odd i like diversity this, uh, fail yeah i like this paddy wagon <laughs> this is cool uh i like this one but once again like it came with the big paddy wagon which is way too big i think for the figures that came with it uh no 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 it's a pretty good size but there's like a hummer right next to it that's like smaller than the guy you know right uh, and the, but the for, for custom vehicle fodder, that's that's a good base you could do something yeah, with. Definitely. Um yeah, it's not a bad set. You know, it was huge. Uh, I don't think I got that one either. This one uh was pretty big too. ATV motorcycle. This one's got it's it's stuffed together, man. It's got although it's missing tank treads, you notice that like on the on the it, yeah. Thing? doesn't have any it just has the wheels i thought that was odd looks like it had some sound effects on it as well or something yeah uh this one i actually bought this one i i, I think i have both of these but i bought it for that motorcycle because i thought it looked really cool i actually have a gi joe sitting on him uh right now and uh yeah he looks pretty cool i like that one uh, and I think I have that kayak as well. The helicopter is like smaller than the kayak, but that kayak's pretty cool. And I've seen that exact same mold reused several times. Uh, but this jungle mission set, this was a great year. This is 2019. Chatmay had these out uh, at Sam's Club. You got the uh, the the battleship, the uh, sub, and that huge uh, chopper. Man, that was great. Cool. It came with like a little rollout vehicle. Such a good set. Uh, I think Boba Hicks sent me a picture, and uh, they have this still available by him. Um, same same chopper, but yeah, that that sub is neat, man. Um, I wish I had bought them. I passed on them, and uh, I don't think I've seen them since. Uh, this little battleship is pretty neat too. If not, you know, a little underscaled. It's still kind of cool though. This was a great day. I went into Big Lots right after Christmas, I think. This was 2019. And they did a sale 50% off all toys. And I bought the hell out of these uh, Chapman and Elite Force. Um, oh, yeah. Did, oh, my God. And click and play stuff. So much of it. 50% off. So this thing was 10, 10 bucks. These were like 5 bucks each. I, I filled like uh, a cart with that stuff, man. So much of it. 
uh, I love these. These were these uh, Glios uh, Fallout figures I picked up at Bell's Outlet for two dollars or two ninety nine each. Cool. These are great. Yeah, the power armor. Those are neat. I yeah. know uh, Bjorn. Bjorn's a big Fallout fan. He'd probably like some of those. Oh, and yeah, speaking of the devil, this is the first thumbnail of any video I ever did on YouTube. <laughs> it's got that plane. Knockoff vehicles from discount stores. That was my whole channel. That was the. That was it. Uh, this thing was cool. It was a, a neat little uh, dream job, engineering, drive a forklift, uh, full function <laughs> RC forklift uh, with pallet. That's cool. Fancy. For scale. Yeah, that's pretty neat. If you're, and, and I don't think I picked it up at the time, but I wish I had. I haven't seen it since. Um, I saw this at Target a few years back, and I haven't seen it since. But that dolphin-shaped sub is pretty cool. I wish I had picked that, that is up. Neat. The the shark looks way too happy. That's that's yeah, a happy. Yeah, shark. that's like Bruce the uh, was it the one from, uh, <laughs> yes. you know, from the Jaws? Shark, right? not food, Bruce yeah. the shark. Yeah. Uh, so oh, okay. So we got the 2021 now. Um, this set, which I think I I've seen, we've seen that base in a different version. Um, this set is a little weird because the jet, the boat, and that missile launching uh, tank thing down at the bottom there. Actually, all the vehicles are way undersized, but you get a lot of them. I think the Jeep and that single-person helicopter are the only ones you can really put a figure in. Um, yeah, they're oh, definitely they're more about it, as much as they can cram in the package, you know, whether it's scaled or not. It, yeah. Because you know, on Christmas morning, kid rips it open. They're just seeing a lot of stuff. And so. this is from a few years ago. And I think, yeah, just last year, I picked up a set with that dog where they just spray painted patrol on the side of him. Um, <laughs> and then there's that uh, that kayak again. There's the chopper from the previous set. And then there's like a motorcycle that's way too big. So it, it's pretty funny. Uh, I don't think I picked that one. This is a good year because uh, all these uh, Lenard, the core, or oh, the alien, Lenard stuff, alien yeah. collection stuff went clearance and we found it at the discount stores. This was like eight bucks. That was pretty cool. That's a cool, uh, you know, wh what did they call it in the movie? But it's basically their armored personnel carrier. Yeah, I think it's it was a little underscaled there, but it looks this neat. one is really small. Yeah, you can only fit like one figure in it, it's definitely tiny. I think a uh, company made a huge one, but it was like 200 bucks, like a full size one. Yes. Haya, right? I was think, it Haya? Was it? It was either Haya or. Yeah, it was Haya because Haya did the Aliens figures, which are pretty, 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 yeah. pretty well done for 118 scale. Mm -hmm. These are always great if you just need some 118 scale stuff. You get a Hunter, you know, a Jeep and a Doggo. These show up at like. Uh, you'll see these at uh, like Bass Pro Shop or. Uh, Tractor Supply will carry these. Sometimes Walmart will get them too. That would be an awesome Jeep for a 118 scale adventure team. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. And you got this one I like just because uh, it just looks weird. Uh, it's a very strange looking vehicle. Uh, the E-Team X T-Rex Security. And it's a movable action playset. Comes with a T-Rex, the Jungle Rover, Tools with case, security officer, and tree. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this one just, I don't, I, maybe I did buy this one. I don't know. Uh, the guy's hairdo looks pretty funny. This one I definitely bought because this is awesome. Uh, this was a little Jeep with lights and sounds. I think I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx for eight bucks. I had to do a little work in the footwell to get him to sit in it. But, uh, you know, that's my, uh, that's my dude. Um, cool. Last year, I picked up these guys. These were four-inch figures, the Ninja Hero set for five ninety-nine. Um, hmm. I did a video on this. If you if you look back from last year, their articulation was funny because they uh, their elbows bent, but not in the correct way. Like they they don't bend like this. They only bend like this. <laughs> so they're like turned ninety degrees. Uh, so those are the only poses you could do with them. Uh, but they did come with some interesting weapons, and you did get a lot of them uh, for the for the money. Uh, so yeah, those were interesting. These are the Wrestle Rampage figures that I picked up at CVS. Uh, this was like two dollars for each two pack, 
And you see like that chainsaw and some of the accessories. They were the same as that other wrestle set that we saw earlier. And I think even the guy screaming is the same guy that came in the, the Rocky set. Uh, but now they painted his goatee and before they did it. Uh, but yeah, these are blow molded also and very, very terrible. Uh, I think I did a video on these as well last year. And uh, you can see how bad they are. The accessories are pretty cool. I did a video on this one too. These are six inch figures, but they're just absurd. And for $6, I bought it once again blow mold it. They all come with weird machine guns. Um, and I think one of them doesn't even get a gun because there's five figures and four guns. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Cosmic Force Ninja Knights, Protectors of the Universe and Beyond. Uh, so they got you covered, man. They protect the entire universe and beyond. They, they go beyond that. So uh, there's no limits to where they're going to protect with these machine guns. Uh, this was a fun set. Um, I, I really don't think I have these anymore. I might've just thrown them out. They're pretty, pretty horrible. Uh, but yeah, I did. I think I did a video on those as well. This was the score of a lifetime. Oh my God. I walked into a DD discount and they had all of this world of halo scale stuff for ridiculous prices. Look at this. Neat. Uh, halo. They got the mantis. They had this. Uh, shade turret and these were the prices man nine dollars wow. seven dollars ten dollars everything was so cheap i just had to buy them all i even got the uh, fortnite chopper the chopper get to the chopper for, for 11.99 can you believe that? that's a cool chopper yeah yeah i think we were talking about i was going to send you one of these i think we were talking last year about it too so good reminder this would be yep. good for an adventure team, right? Or adventure, like absolutely, adventure team. yeah. This set has one of the most amazing accessories, and it's been in a bunch of them. But it's like a hoverboard with like missiles and machine guns attached to it. It is hilarious. I've seen this on some of the other sets, and if anyone in the chat has has gotten one of these, and um, you know, painted them up. They are so fun, man. Uh, but this came with a dino set, so it just doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> it's just funny. Um, here is another dinosaur set with a little chopper. I think the, the helicopter was kind of cool in that one. It's kind of like the same size as the Fang. Mm -hmm. These, I mean, you already know these are my favorite. I was so happy to oh, see yeah. these again because the one I had for years I found out at Goodwill and this is like one of my favorite toys that I own. And I found him at a Goodwill with no context or anything. I just saw that his belly opened up. And you could put a G.I. Joe figure inside. So I had to have him. And of course, I put a Dreadnought in there, right? And uh, Interesting you should mention, Lack. We have covered there is a company doing a Dino yeah. Riders style uh, I, are they in Kickstarter? Will the the ones doing uh, yeah, the demos? Yeah, that's fully funded. Yeah, uh, yeah Cyberzoic. Awesome. Cyberzoic. Cyberzoic. Yeah. This thing is just awesome. I did do a video on this sucker as well, uh, but on the tail it does say "World Peace is our mission," and there's no other hmm. way to say "World Peace" quite like a giant oh. dinosaur mech with a laser coming out of his mouth. One of my favorites. This thing showed up on the shelves last year. Uh, and yeah, I bought, I bought, uh, not all of them. Uh, some of them went on clearance and I think that one with no head was there until like February. And then they finally worked it down to like $2. So I bought it, uh, just to, to customize it. But yeah, love this toy. One of my favorite, uh, discount knockoff toys. Very cool. And then this year, you know, there's some good stuff. I'd say it's kind of light this year. I don't feel like I'm getting as much stuff as uh, I'm used to getting because uh, on those other years, like the tables were stacked up, man. Uh, so I don't know. Seen some cool stuff. This hey, uh, dinosaur. Hey, good how's it going, Melbourne? What's happening, man? And uh, this cage with a, it comes with like a claw that's kind of like a garbage truck. Anyway, that can okay. be fun for some uh, customizers. Uh, we've seen this base a million times over. It's definitely, yeah, good fodder for making something for your 118s. Lack, there has not been a 
Cowboy of Moo Mesa revamp, but there is Biker Mice from Mars coming from the cell. Is that right? So, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Of course, Lack would come out with a Cowboys of Moo Mesa revamp. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I just like these generic robots. I don't have any particular use for them, but I just think if you if you need a present for a kid and you don't know the kid, get him a cool freaking robot, man. They're just always fun. Robots, Yeah. You can't and go this wrong is not one eighteen scale, so don't don't attack me for going off scale. I I think we need an alert when we go off scale. Uh, but this just was hilarious because it's a mermaids mermaids color change ocean cruiser. So the gimmick here is that this car that you put the mermaids dolls in is empty. It's like a it's clear, and you fill it with water and glitter. Oh my. And yeah, and roll it around your house. And I'm just looking at it going, okay. That's a I've disaster got, waiting to happen. Yes, yeah. I've got several granddaughters, and buying this is like just, you might as well just buy a, a, a container of glitter and just throw it all over your kitchen floor because that's where it's going to wind up. <laughs> I'm curious, though, if this could be a contender for the uh, Laser Pants Brats burning up the Volbard kind of It, it could be, but then also what happens to that water inside there in the glitter? You know what I mean? Like, oh, my. Yeah. Your kid, like, stops playing with it. You throw it in a toy box. Are you supposed to uh, it, obviously, I guess? I would hope so. But can you really get all the water out of that? I could just see, like, stuff growing inside there. And it's just yeah. becoming like a science experiment. <laughs> that that could go horribly wrong, but it would yeah. be fun to, to tinker with. Good idea, but just once uh, once again. Ooh, that, what if you uh, filled it with jello? That would be interesting. That'd be pretty good. Or yeah. <laughs> so then Combat Force 9, not to be confused with Delta Force 17 or Delta 17. This is Combat Force 9. Um, oh, I just got a Gojitron update. Oh. Uh Nacelle, hey, you said you who, weren't going to be here, Gojitron. What are you doing here? <laughs> he can't stay away. Uh, <laughs> they are cool. working on uh, Moo Mesa. I did not know. I, oh, I knew they were cool. doing Biker Mice. So, very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, Combat Force 9. This is a direct ripoff of Chatmate. This looks just it's cool. like the Chatmate jet that uh, that they have out. And then This is not to be confused with Chatmate's Soldier Force. Which is uses the same font. This is special combat. <laughs> you can see the guy's face. He looks like they painted part of his helmet flesh toned. Uh, but yeah, the thing is, this is like four dollars, but like the real uh, Soldier Force one's like five dollars, so it's like not even that much cheaper. Um, Indeed. So yeah, this is a knockoff of a knockoff brand. It's just, and then here's our my favorite. Uh, kayak again with oversized motorcycle, and that is clearly a firefighter with just a green uh, jacket. His helmet is like a firefighter helmet. Uh, this is not a knockoff. This is a Nickelodeon show or something. But I thought you might want to throw a 118 scale character on there, give it some sharp, pointy teeth, and make it like a you know some kind of Badlands like a thing. Yeah, and this is that uh, Jurassic World Jeep that uh, they put a cardboard cutout of a three and three quarter inch figure in there just to show you that it can fit a three and three quarter inch figure. And I think this Jeep, I did want to mention it because I, I forgot how much it was when I saw it at the discount store, is actually on sale on Amazon right now for like 20 bucks if you want to pick it up. It's a pretty good Jeep. Um, and it is radio control? Yeah, 20? it's radio controlled. Uh, it's a four door uh, Jeep Wrangler kind of car. Uh, yeah, real cool. Uh, I also wanted to mention, uh, these are just some of the other things I saw. This is all this year. This is a horribly scaled and horribly painted police officer who is clearly <laughs> like a soldier. Uh, I just thought it was funny. Uh, Appa, which, sorry suckers, this toy is awesome. This thing weighs like five pounds. I love it. It was only Huge. six bucks. So I bought it, and it's over there somewhere, so I can't get it out. But I love him. He looks so good. Uh, this is a rescuer. Now he's clearly those grenades on his uh, shoulder. He's definitely there to rescue you from fire. Right. <laughs> yeah. Same with this guy. 
uh, with the machine gun right there mounted on the, on the Jeep. They just repainted them. Uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. It's on 18 scale, but you know, it's got a, it's got two walkie talkies and a base station. You think kids are even going to play with this? I mean, we used to have some fun with these. What about you guys? Yeah. Do you remember doing these when you were a kid? You get like a uh, walkie talkie. Oh yeah. Set? I loved having walkie talkies from Radio Shack that, you know, they'd work for, you know, a couple of houses back and forth. You could, yeah. you could get some decent communication. This one says 120 feet. That's actually not that far. No. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's not really that far, man. You could it's... pretty much just yell that distance and, and get that. <laughs> yeah, I think from. so. Yeah. I think you could just shout that far. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this was cool. I know a lot of people have been converting these, uh, Sergs into like sentinels or or other other you know things and kids just have cell phones now so yeah Salzburg yeah. you're right people are texting <laughs> each other from the other room like hey can you uh you know bring me a drink <laughs> you know stuff like that so uh, this yeah, I one I, up, I did pick up because I like this say, I, I picked up the uh, oh, couple of the Zyklopses for customs because oh, they're yeah. they were super cheap. Yeah, I giant think robots like, can't go wrong. These were like less than ten dollars, so mm -hmm. yeah, really cool. Get out there, check out your stores, guys, because this these last slides are all stuff that I seen recently. I like this one because there was like these like fifty five gallon drums with the machine gun nest on top. I kind of bought this whole set just for that little uh, diorama piece. Uh, this was the Mars converters. I had seen the entire set. They're kind of like 124th scale vehicles, but the robots are pretty good scaled. Uh, I just included one, not all of them. Hmm. I had seen a whole bunch of them. And then here's funny. This is the, the, the place that I did a video on um, back in 2019. Um, they have it. I just repackaged again. it and put it out again. Cool. Yeah. Just with a new Jeep. And then this was from the Aquanauts. Uh, toy line but that ship that turns into a play set kind of looked interesting i thought maybe someone might want to do something with that and this one was called wow world uh but if you need a big rig uh like an 18 wheeler it kind of looks like 118 scale you can definitely fit a figure in there the seat isn't it's like not fully molded so you'd have to cut that out and probably customize something but that one was a pretty good one as well and i think this is it guys i think uh I know I'm killing you guys here with my trip down knock knockoff toy memory lane. Um, love the Transformer knockoffs. They are just my favorite thing in the world. This is Rescue Fire Rescue Robot and Wheelbots. Uh, this one was funny because I think someone even mentioned it when I posted it on uh, Instagram. Uh, it says it, it includes four collector cards. <laughs> And uh, on the back of the nice. package, there are four collector cards. They give them personalities and everything, you know, uh, whole profiles. This was that uh, pirate set that Gojutron just did a wonderful video on. Um, Very cool. I just thought that they did a great job on the sculpt and detail. No articulation, but they look pretty cool. Um, and you could see that that RC buggy is back again. If you're interested, guys, yeah, those are only 10 bucks at, at Family Dollar if you want a cool RC buggy. Uh, I picked up two of them. This thing was neat. I saw this at Target. Uh, this dinosaur playset comes with this skull that has a light and like a, a mister. And you mist like water vapor. And Weird. it lights up and it just looks cool. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Hmm. There's different lights. That's kind of neat, right? Yeah, it'd be a cool uh, piece to put in some background for some yeah. toy photography maybe. And I saw this one on... Um, I, I saw this one over at uh, Sam's, I think, last week. I was there for work, uh, and it's a camper. I just picked a quick shot there. I know some people like to do, like, uh, space Winnebago's or anything like that, and <laughs> I didn't look too cool into it, but it could be used for that. <laughs> and these other big rigs are nice, too. Uh, you got a fire engine and a big dump truck if you wanted to do, like, any kind of, like, uh, paint that red. Yeah, right? There you go. You can make, like, an Optimus Prime or something. Cool. Thank oh, you, Badger, pirates. for putting oh, the uh, link for Goji. That's a good uh, video to check a nice out. nice troop transport truck that I saw yes, uh, Friday. I saw this one Friday, I believe, at uh, DD's Discount. It's in the same plot. 
Yeah, it's it's at the same shopping center that I work at. So I, you know, my lunch break sometimes I'll run in there and get some cool stuff. Very interesting. Yeah, and there's some more pirate goodies. Yeah, that thing's a nice set. But yeah, that's it. That's my trip down memory knockoff toy discount stuff memory lane. What about you guys? Do you like to peruse these uh, you know, discount stores? I know a lot of times people I originally discovered them because my wife would want to go into that DD discount place and, you know, I'd be standing around waiting for her to, uh, to shop. And then I, you know, I went over there and I started taking pictures. I uh, don't have anything much before, um, you know, um, 2018, because I was out of the toy collecting completely, you know, but ever since, and it was nice that uh, I was able to just search by year. I just typed in toys in the year. And those all came up, uh, and I was just able to just kind of pull them and, and do them. But um, yeah, I always like taking a peruse at those while the wife is doing the sundry staples and grocery shopping. Because again, you can find some great accessories or some bare bones for doing some customizations in there. Uh, sometimes you have to fudge the scale, but you know you can find something fun. Now, most of the time, it's not even like the whole set is a winner. You know, there's usually like one great thing and then a bunch of like, okay, things, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, do you get do you get like an influx of that type of product down by you uh, where you see stores starting to carry it, even stores that don't normally carry you know, a large amount of toys? Yeah, we don't have much year round toy sales here, but during um, November, December, right around Christmas time. Several of the stores here will start bringing in some of those um, bigger box set item play set deals would have the mini vehicles in it and some cheesy figures. I'll, uh, I'll peruse around, see if I can take some pictures and see what kind of uh, interesting knockoff and, and uh, uh, interesting packaging they have. Uh, we do get a lot of stuff from China that, that pops up. That's kind of hilarious. Some of it, cause it's, it's so yeah. badly. I together. love that stuff. Uh, I, you know, I eat it up, you know, that uh, other than, yeah, this guy is definitely my favorite from like the last several years. He's just so cool. Uh, what about you guys watching? Uh, you guys have any uh, cool, you know, finds? I, I, a lot of you guys share this stuff with me on Instagram already. Um, and, you know, and even in some of the, the groups, uh, love me some discount stores. Yeah. Job lot, big lots. Yeah. I mean, go to Tron just a couple of weeks ago. We, uh, we did a little slideshow of all that cool stuff, the uh, click and play stuff you found at Ocean State Job Lot. Big lots. Yeah. Oh, Guatemala we, knockoffs is going to be a fun we show. We can make that happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah, will I put some stuff. I'll see what I can find. And anyone else watching, if you have uh, anything unique, you know, like the kind of stuff that we see, uh, some people could be in other countries. Um, you know, I was told by YouTube that the country that watches. My channel, the second to the U.S., is Mexico. Uh, so also, I would love to do that. Um, you know, I would love to also get... Um, we should do some Lucha Libre. Yeah. Find some Lucha Libre cool. stuff. So, oh, MCR is in Guatemala, too. Oh, cool. Oh, small world. I'm in, uh, I'm in Paten. I'm not sure where MCR is, but it's a small country. We might even huh. bump into each other. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Jim, I might have an opportunity to go to Guatemala next year if I can make it happen. But, uh, that yeah, would be cool. really cool stuff. Uh, but that was it for, for me, guys. That's all I've got for you. If anyone has any questions or anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to share, you know, uh, please let us know now. Uh, any questions? We're, we'll still be here for a couple more minutes. I know we missed last week's show, so happy to do that. Uh, anything in the chat that you saw that was anything in uh, pressing note? Um, Scott's got a video coming out on November 16th. Awesome. Uh, Scott, yeah, that'd be great. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. And MCR has family in between. Very cool. Very yeah, he's cool. closer, I think, to the capital where he oh, is. All right, cool. Not too far uh, away. Yeah. Yeah, Scott's always out there uh, traveling around looking for stuff and seeing if. Uh, one eight does it one eighteen scale, you know, is is uh as always on his mind. So yeah, follow Scott stuff. Johnny has a pressing question. 
you know, Johnny, uh, I wish I was. You are. You are. <laughs> uh, you know, much respect to you too, Black. Uh, Johnny's awesome. If you're not watching his channel, Johnny Sorensen, uh, go follow him for sure, man. Because uh, his he's uh, Boba bat, Joe yeah, bat fan on Batman and Boba Joe with our buddy Boba Hicks. Those two guys do a great show together. Oh yeah, mech contest. When is the deadline, Will? Uh, that is next Sunday. You have until next Sunday to send them in. Gojutron is the only person who submitted so far, and his mech looks sweet. I love it. Uh, <laughs> and then, what is your favorite? Star Wars character, and why is it lacks of rack? Because of you, my friend. That's why. That's right. Uh, so, okay, with that, we're going to go have an awesome weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Um, until then, I don't have an, an exit, so uh, bye bye <laughs>